I think. I haven't listened to it. Um, anyway, our next comedian is Blake Powell. Hi, Stephen Hoop, how's it going? Can you hear me in the back? Or do you guys just not care? All right, listen, back. Damn it. Okay. All right, we're ready to go. These are great jokes. These are all new, so. It's going to be great. Uh, I'm starting to be grumpy at the beginning. I'm not feeling great. I, uh, I, I ate shit outside on the way in here. So sorry if my breath smells. <laughs> all right, folks. All right, listen, folks. Look, Betty had a feces joke earlier, so I'm gonna keep going on that. Uh, but let me let me move on to a fun, smart, topical joke. Uh, I've been seeing articles about the Taliban now that they're in power. They are having to do like actual government work in like office jobs and they're making blogs about how much they hate it. That's hilarious. Like, the Taliban just found out about quiet quitting. Acting your wage or whatever the term is. But like, yeah, we all want to be fucking shooting RPGs out of Humvees and shit, but sometimes you gotta do some actual work. Like, those conversations are so funny and it's like, I'm not feeling so a la Akbar on Mondays. <laughs> Around the hummus cooler or whatever they call it. <laughs> They're the enemies, we can say this shit today. <laughs> so like, the real jihad is all this work we have to do. <laughs> I was thinking that'd be a great uh, office space remake. <laughs> The Middle Eastern version. <laughs> it's like the scene where they destroy the computer with bats, but they like string it up and noose it on like E Bombs World or something. <laughs> All right, next joke. Uh, uh, I've been trying to not do like drugs anymore besides weed and beer. That's fine. Uh, but uh, I really like doing Adderall, but I found that's not good. It's a, I, I'm a super an Adderall, I had a terrible addiction. It was bad, everything was so organized, alphabetized, I lost 20 pounds. No, it's, Adderall's a weird drug. It's like the one drug, like I'll take it and then immediately be like, I need to call my grandma right now. <laughs> but then right after I call my grandma, I'm like, I should tear this wall out. I think there's a lot of problem in there that I could get. So I don't know if you know what the like name, actual name for Adderall is. It's methamphetamine salts. It's liberal meth. That's what it is. It's the same thing, and I love it so fucking much. But I'm trying not to do it. But it's hard because uh, my wife's name is Addie, which that's like the street name for Adderall. And she has like prescriptions, like little orange pill bottles that say Addy on them. And I see that out of like my peripheral vision every day. I'm like, fuck. You might need to change your name to like Xanax or something. And I used to do heroin too, which that's no good. It's no good at all. But um, I'm not doing it anymore. It's kind of hard though because. I'm, no, I won't do that. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of hard though because my daughter's name's Heroin. And, uh, it makes it really hard. She's got like little bags that say Heroin on it and needles stuck around. You might need to change your name to Methadone or something. Uh, what else do we have? Thank you. That was nice. It's all like, got it. Uh, but uh, I have a wife, we have a kid, we've been together for like almost eight years, so stop doing that. That's not what I'm going for right now. <laughs> Thank you, Ethan, I appreciate it. Uh, but the romance is dead, is what I'm saying. After eight years together, there's no mystery anymore. Like, we've blown coke up each other's buttholes. There's no mystery after that anymore. So trying to have sex now, it's literally just like, 
I come home from work like sex, like, mm -mm, like gotta, and that's it. But when you've been together for eight years, I did this thing the other night where I sex pested her with Gollum voice from Lord of the Rings. I said, I need some spoons. <laughs> and it works. <laughs> Anyone who just started dating somebody, try that out and see how good that goes. That would never work in the beginning of a relationship, but eight years in, and even afterwards, it was like, I got you. It's like, fuck, damn it, why did I do that? But uh, our anniversary is coming up, and I'm going to hit her with the Borat voice. Like, Very nice. <laughs> all right, I think that's all my time. My name is Blake.